Welcome to the Switch Up, presented by Playhouse Studios and your boy, Mr. HQ. Who's got here? Man, it's your boy Hitman, the hit maker. And you know, man, I had to bring some of my folks, man. B and B the label about my business. We taking over Atlanta. Okay, that's what's up. What's the name of the song you brought to us today? Man, I bought that song Big Fish. You know what I'm saying? It's my lead single for 2024. Mm -hmm. You know, we we going crazy on the YouTube numbers and, and just look be on the lookout for it. Okay, okay. Yeah. So is this song a part of a project? Nah, nah, this is more of a single. I got a project coming out, but this mm -hmm. this ain't on no project. Okay. You yeah. got a project coming out though. Oh yeah, for sure. So, so Talk like to us. all right, so check it, man. I got this project in the vault. It's some different stuff though, bro. Like like it's called the ghetto gospel. You know what I mean? Mm. And I had uh my man's um it's a DJ in Germany that I do business with. And he you know he put the mixes on it. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um I also got a girl to come and do kind of like some skits on it. So, you know, kind of like similar to how Lauren Hill did a miseducation on Lauren Hill where she had skits, but man, I got all that on there. But you know, really talking about some different stuff, you feel me? Um so this this album really different than a lot of the singles I'm gonna put out. Like the singles is more so on uh some turned up stuff, but when I put out this project, it's on some it's gonna be on some old some old conscious more consciousness, you feel me? I ain't gotcha. gonna say it's gonna be too hip hop or too gospel, you know what I mean? But really just talking about, you know what I'm saying, thinking about some things like the streets, you feel me? Uh getting businesses, turning to God, you know what I mean? Things okay. like that. Okay, okay. So you said you this is your label that's with you right now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is some of the members, man. We got Baby Swan right here. Okay. You feel me, man. This is one of our top artists. We got J Boy, one of the CEOs. You know what I mean? And then we got another homie over here. Talking to the mic. You gotta talk to the mic. Man, we got flex. You gotta talk to the mic. Oh, you yeah. can just point them out. Oh, no, no, my bad. Yeah, we got Flex over here. We got J Boy. And then we got Baby Swan. Okay. And say that again J Boy on the end. Yeah, J Boy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then, YMGM J Boy. You know, okay. young man getting money, J Boy. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? We got, What's the other guy right here? Man, we got Flex over here. Flex. Okay. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Then we got Baby Swan right here. Baby Swan. Gotcha. No, the biggest bird, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So this this the whole crew, or you got more nah, members? Nah, man. So, man, the crew really deep as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's a lot of us. Um, It's artists. We got some videographers. We got some businessmen. You know, we, we really putting it together as a real legit label. You know what okay. I mean? Um, We're developing artists. So, um, we we came up with the idea not too long ago so like about a couple months ago me j boy and another member um by the name of swiper we we had a job together we all did music and so okay. you know we started going out going to the studios together and then from there we was like yo we might as well get some people together and let's just do some and okay. from there um j boy came up with the name bmb because we were like we need a name and mm -hmm. so he was like, about my business. And I was like, you know what? Everybody could be about their business. You feel what I'm saying? Facts. And it's kind of universal. You know, we about, Facts. we about our business over here. You feel Facts. me? Facts. And then from there, you know, more and more people came into the crew and then the crew just been expanding. Then more and more as we, as we came together, you know, we start putting out the content, going to shows, but the way we doing it though, we more like a family, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like, How many artists y'all got under the label? Man, let's see, man, we got Baby Swan. You know, we got YMGM, J, J Boy, we got Slim, we got Hard Body, we got Swiper, we got Spiffy, we got Rocco, Reloaded. Where we at? Seven, eight? Man, that's seven right there. Seven? Yeah, about seven. That's seven artists right there, man. I'm trying to think, man. Am I leaving anybody oh, yeah, out? Deep. We got Ball Star. You know what I mean? That's eight. Um, yeah, that's eight right there. Yeah, eight solid artists. And then we also got DJ Rubel. You know, Rebel, that's more overseas. So we even got plugs overseas. He from Bangladesh. So, you know, mm -hmm. we got overseas stuff too. You know, people speaking a whole different language. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Have y'all traveled as a group out of the country yet? Nah, nah, man. That's definitely on the list to do. Cause we know okay. we can get way more money, you know what I'm saying, outside Facts. of the country. Overseas. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah. but right now, you know, right now we coming together to take over where we at first. You know, because Atlanta, gotcha. this right here, the capital of everything right now. Facts. You know, all Facts. the celebrities and stuff, they coming here. Facts. So we in the best place because if, if our name get buzzing here, they going to spread it around. You know Talk what I mean? Talk to them. Talk to them. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's all it's all part of the marketing, like, like really masterminding this shit. Like, Where you, you originally from? I'm from New York. Uh, what part? 
Um, so I was born in Buffalo. Then okay. we moved to the Bronx. Then I moved to Teaneck. Then I moved to Jersey City. Then from Jersey City, I moved to Atlanta. But I done moved all over, man. Some summers I spent in the Bronx. Like, so when people ask where I'm from, it's kind of hard because even in Atlanta, like, I spent five years on the north. I might spend two years on the south side. You know Gosh. what I'm saying? The longest I've been at is the west side. So I tell people, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm from New York, though. You know what okay. I'm saying? That's where the hustle Growing up um, in high school and all that, you was in New York. Um, nah, so I spent some years in high school here. So I spent most of my years in high school here in uh, Lovejoy. I was okay. there okay. up until then when I went to college in Georgia State. Then I, I dropped out of college. And from there, I was just moving everywhere, wherever I can get it. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> sure. so, look, I had a job, man. It was crazy. It was like, I went and got a job. And I was like, all right, bet. You know what I'm saying? I was like, fuck school, man. I'm finna pursue music. Man, after two weeks, man, I went to work, man. The job closed down. I didn't even get my check. So then, man, wow. I was down bad. So I ended up getting homeless. I man, all types of shit, man. Damn. But hell yeah, man. The job just shut down. Just shut down. But I went to that mug. I was like, yo, oh, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Boy, no check, no name. They bro. tell you they was man, shutting down. Hell, they ain't nah. lay y'all off or man, nothing. They just had y'all working. No in nothing. It. it was on Auburn, too, man. I'll never forget that shit, man. Yo. Damn, so you went there and it just said closed. Yeah, yeah. You know what, man? I ain't gonna hold you. I made a lot of dumbass decisions when I was younger. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm sure thinking life is gonna be easy. So I'm like, yo, fuck college, man. Fuck all this shit. I'm gonna go give you a job and watch. Yeah, I ain't know about, you know, how long it takes to get into the apartment. I ain't know about, you feel me, credit and all that extra shit. So I'm like, oh, damn. So, you know, I, I went, I learned and got it out the hard way. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now I'm good, you feel me? But Fast. yo. So the hard way. So so growing up in Atlanta, give me a, give me some experience about that, like what it was for man, you. Man, man, I done, man, I've been everywhere in Atlanta, from the Swats, Camelton, mm -hmm. you feel me? Like, um, I remember I used to be in the studio. Um, there was a studio there with DJ Steele and them. Okay. Um, Millie, so um, I'm familiar with them. Uh, man, uh, Metropolitan, uh, the Metro Fun Bowl, man, a couple years back, um, they had a studio in there, in the back. And I remember I used to I used to be there uh, all the time. Man, I had an internship there. It was a dude named Jeremiah. He was an engineer. Okay. I forgot the I forgot the artist. He, it was an artist that had a song on the radio at the time, bro. But I forgot who it was. But um, it was a big studio there. I had my internship there. You know what I'm saying? That was a fun part of my life. Um, but I was homeless at the time. So at the time, Man. I'm homeless, going to the studio. Uh, I ain't got no money, but yeah, I'm still somehow going to the studio. I had my little Georgia State card, so I was sneaking into their studio, you know what I mean? Damn. Just whatever I could to get, <laughs> keep the music going, you feel me? I Bro, remember- You say um, you was homeless. Man, yeah, you oh, mean yeah. You you were staying yeah. on the street? Or man, you had like, somewhere to man, stay, I was, you just like, didn't have really? your own? But, bruh, I, I, was, I was staying in the Metro Fun Bowl, so I was sleep there. Uh, cause I had a job there as an overnight um, janitor. I was the worst janitor ever. Like that shit was not. <laughs> <laughs> they only let the me keep the job because shit. They was like, man, we fought with you, but I was a horrible janitor. Yo, that shit was never clean. He was like, bro, you can't clean for shit. Like, <laughs> damn. Yeah, yeah, but it's a big ass spot, bro. Yo, yo, hell no. Nah. Then they be throwing raves and shit. Hell no, nah. that place ain't finna get cleaned by one person. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, there. You know, there was um there was a stripper that took me in, um, China D. She used to work at Onyx, you know, she used to do music back in the day, um, with this guy named Brandon. They used to come to the studio. So sometimes I I um I would crash at the Metro Bowl, sometimes I'd crash at her spot, sometimes I'd crash at my partner's stuff. So then it got to a point where I was just like, you know what? I can't keep living like this. I need to get a job. So then <laughs> So then I called my partner, uh I called my partner, uh my big bro, Jabbar, man, I was like, yo, I need some help. I'm down bad. Can you help me get a job? You know, I need a place to stay. He was like, come over here. So he gave me a place to stay, and he got me on at the Waffle House, and he gave me money for a weekly pass since, you know, they were paying every week. And then I said, I started working at Waffle House, and then from there, shit, now here I am now. So now I'm good. You feel me? Got the house that I'm renting, you know what I mean? Shit, got yeah. money, you feel me? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, so niggas, niggas, get a job. If you broke, just bro, if I could get a job. If the hustling ain't working. <laughs> get, a <job. laughs> get a job. Ain't bro. nothing wrong with a job. It bro. ain't nothing wrong with it. Facts, ain't nothing bro. wrong with a job. Man. That's no cap, bro. If, if definitely, if you hustling, man. 
Yeah. Like, if you still hustling today, man, definitely get a job. <laughs> For sure. Because the streets is drying out. But it is because weed is, man, the price on weed going down. How you going to make money selling a $20, $25? Like, I can't. What the fuck? Yo, I'm like, yo, I can't compete with this shit no more. Like, <laughs> nigga said I can't compete with this shit no more. <laughs> nigga said a pressure nigga, yo, for $20. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo there's a nigga, man. That's yo, facts. I'm on Instagram. My That's man's facts. just like, yo, I got $20, three fives going. But I'm like, either he just hit a lick or got. <laughs> He got no love. Yo, he yo, getting him by the love. Yo, I might need to make him my plus. <laughs> yo, nigga, how you supposed to? Yeah, the streets is drying up. Yo, these niggas, bro, these niggas backward hustling, bro. Like, bro, niggas breaking even now. So it's. <laughs> Niggas breaking even now. Like, yo, nah, like, that's so, real shit. Yeah, bro. so I'm right, bro. I'm making more bread at the job. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas say I made more money at the job. Bro, like, with less the uh, consequences. Yeah, like, with less consequences. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the consequences too though. So, but yeah, like you, you know what I'm saying. Me, I'm just saying shit, though, gone. But if you a hustler, yeah. you gotta know your numbers though. Like, yeah. bro, like. I remember, man, I had an OG in my neighborhood, man, my, my big homie Skrilla, man. He was like, cause I was like, man, I got to get that bag, bro. Like, yo, I need that dope boy bag. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was like, listen, bro, you already got the bag. How much money you think these niggas making? He was like, bro, he was like, he was like, look, bro, they be asking you for food. They be asking you for the model. I was like, yo, he was like, bro, you getting the dope boy. You getting what they making, bro. Yeah. He said the only difference is they might have the time with, for real, for real. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So me, like right now, I work two jobs. You know what I'm saying? Fact. I work, you know, I put the bread up and I just invest into the music. You know? Nah, that's fact, bro. Yeah. yeah. Nah, that's facts. That shit <laughs> funny, but it's facts. You ain't said yeah. no lies. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no so. cap. Nah, because people don't take it consideration. Like, even when you hustling, you got to invest. Yeah. And then you got to make that investment back before you claim a profit. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, if you if you buy a bag right now, say you buy a bag for 1500 Yeah, you made 1500 today or two days, but you ain't made no profit yet. Cause you had to invest that fifteen hundred to get the bag. Yeah, you feel me. So now everything on top of that is considered a profit. Now we talking profit money. You feel what I'm saying? So like the time that it take for you to make that, like you said, a nigga at a job, if his trap ain't rolling like it's supposed to, the nigga at the job putting them eight hours in, he getting that guaranteed ninety five dollar, eighty dollars. Feel what I'm saying? Oh, shit, man. I ain't no 95 y'all, man. You fan. You, I'm just saying, shit. that's a $10 an hour job. Oh, no, nah, for sure. But I mean, yo, I man, if you make it $10 an hour, then you, need, then you need to find you a new job, man. Yo, you got to be making at least 19 or more, especially in this economy, bro. Like, I ain't going to even lie to you. I say I say yeah. 25 for real. 25, yeah. Hell that's yeah. Too. Yeah, yeah, me, I get tip shares, so it's like 19 plus tip shares. So them tips add like an extra. But you really need to, you need to get a, like me, what I had to do, I had two jobs, but then I said, yo, what income do I need? And as I've been studying, because I, I, I took a whole year to pay for co consultation meetings. So like to learn the business, because I was like, okay, the music, that's easy to make. But now we need to learn the business, bro. Like, Fact. okay, how do you shift your mind? I was like, all right, I need to focus on getting me some money. <laughs> like, Fact. how much money am I making? How much is my bills? And then, so then I look for jobs that can pay me what I need. Then, um, like, I'm a food runner at SDK. That's tip share, but it's fine dining. So them tips is different. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I done worked <laughs> 25 right. hours and made over a band. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I'm not working as much. Like, some people working 70, 80 hours. I'm really only working like, 50 to 60 per Ooh. week. Hell yeah, yeah. Still seeing seeing a, a good large sum of cash, you feel me? Yeah. So, you know, you just gotta, you gotta just strategize this stuff. And bro. that's a communication job though. You gotta know how to talk to people. Oh yeah, that's how to treat people. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You gotta be, I think, man, in life, if you're not somewhat of a people person, man, it's, it's it, you gonna have a tough life, man. Cause you gotta deal with people. Like yeah. even as a musician, we dealing with people. You gotta right. be able to deal with your fans. Like, 
Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to be able to talk to people. You got to network. You got to do all this stuff, man. Even if you're an introvert, you got to still make yourself deal with people. Like me personally, I don't like talking to everybody. Like I'm the same I, way, bro. You know what I'm saying? But as I'm getting older and the more and more I'm learning the value of networking, I'm like, all right, I got to talk. You know, and then people do want to talk to me because when they see the product, they like, yo, you know what I'm saying? We need to talk. I want I want the same product. You know what yeah. I mean? So that's a that's a valid point for real so tell us um tell us something crazy about living in atlanta though man especially so, being that you keep telling us that you was homeless man like something crazy like something you mean? crazy you seen man something crazy man y'all seeing all types of crazy shit in atlanta <laughs> all right i'll tell you this one time i was in the bluff man um i met some random ass nigga in the bluff and he was like yo so the whole night we chilling in the bluff and he had like $23 on him. <laughs> and so, so then he was like, listen, yo, he was like, listen, little homie, make sure I don't spend all my money. I was like, all right, I got you. So he, you know, he got the beer, he getting drunk ass, drunk ass, we chilling. So we going to the store. No, we didn't go to the store. He was like, yo, I gotta get some weed. I was like, all right, look, man, that's $5 for the bag. So look, you down to your 19, your $18. You sure you want to buy that? He was like, yeah, 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 fuck it, I got money. So you go he buy. Said, the yeah, he said I got money. So he like, yo. So he buy, he buy the little bag. So we smoking this shit. And he was like, yo, I need another beer. I was like, yo, bro, chill out, man. You finna spend all your money. So he's like, nah, nah, I got the bread, I got the bread. So then, so see, we go. <laughs> so we go to the gas station and shit. So he go get the he go get the beer, man. And so then he down to like thirteen dollars. He was like, yo. I gotta go get something else. I said, look, bro, you gonna go broke. I said, don't buy it. He, then he looked me in my eyes, bro. I swear, he said, we ain't never broke. And he went ahead, spent that shit, bro. Then like, then after he spent all his money, then this nigga had like some cocaine on him or some shit. So now he saw I get the cocaine off. I said, yo, what the fuck? Yo, he found some studs. We end up in the studs apartment, bro. He trying to sell them the coke and then, he don't work there, boy. Bro, I, he yo, he I swear to God, yo, I, <laughs> he said he got the money. Bro, man, I'm talking about, that's a whole, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Yo, this is my first day chilling with the nigga, man. So, <laughs> <laughs> and so then he like, yo, he like, man, yeah, man, he like, man, these studs look good, don't they? So, man, I was, <laughs> <laughs> yo, this an old head too, a nigga like 50 years old. Yo, I said, yo, I'm finna go. He was like, all right, man. And he was like, shit, man, you gonna come back tomorrow? I said, shit, yo, hey. <laughs> hey, man, peace out, man. I ain't never see that nigga again. So it was my my only time, like, really chilling in the bluff. I said, oh, this a whole different uh, <laughs> situation. <laughs> <laughs> different shit, <channel. laughs> Hey, yo. Okay. Uh, How long you was in the bluff? Man, shit, really, bro, I never stayed in the bluff, but I just, you know what I'm saying, I'll go over there from time to time, get some weed or something, you know what I mean, okay. chill with some of the chicks from the colleges and all that. But, like, when I chill, like, man, I tell people, man, the west side, you got the west side, then you got the real west side. You feel me? Like, yeah. there are parts of the west side where you're going to realize, you're going to be like, damn, all right, this a whole different a whole different <laughs> different side yeah. you feel me like once you go deeper to Alley temple yeah. you know what i mean you go yeah. deep into yeah. so you on Simpson, and all yeah. that yeah. yeah like it's a whole different it's a whole different but i fought with it though you know what i'm saying yeah. like i love the west side you know yeah. yeah it's where all my people is at you know it's real it's real deal community you know what i mean so, how long you said you was here in atlanta you been here oh how many years? i've been living like in atlanta for like for eight years now Eight okay. years. So okay. yeah, because I first when I first dropped out of college, I was staying on Camelton. I forgot the name of the neighborhood I was staying in, but I was staying in Camelton for a little bit. I said I moved everywhere. I was on Camelton. I was What's some crazy shit you seen on Camelton? I know you just it's yo, some crazy hell, shit over yeah. there. <laughs> what was I man? I was in this bad neighborhood. So I was in the hood, bro. It was some badass kids, man. <laughs> Yeah, I used to see man, like it'll be 10, 15 kids fighting 10, 15 kids, bro, like Nigga, like, but other than that, I ain't gonna even say like I saw too much crazy shit over there because I stayed over there for a couple of months. Then we got evicted, man. Man, that shit was crazy how we got evicted too. We had the rent money, but then these <laughs> niggas got into an argument and took their rent money back and said, "Yo, fuck that shit, fuck this apartment, fuck you." I said, "Yo, pay the rent." I said, "Yo, them niggas can't fight." 
<laughs> it was some niggas for Detroit I was staying with, man. It was a whole bunch. All these niggas was so super scammers, yo. Like yeah. these niggas was, uh, they were doing the iPhone jewels at the time, man. Yeah, yeah, I'll never forget that <laughs> shit, bro. Niggas had the rent money. I said, yo, we just gotta go to the Lisa office. They said, no, fuck that nigga, man. <laughs> <He took> it. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga took it. They took their money back, gave me my money back, and said, yo, we gonna have to find a new place. Everybody gotta find their own place. I was like, bro, I ain't never seen no. That's why black people can't can't get ahead. Mexicans would never did no shit like that. They would have <laughs> <laughs> warned the nigga at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Poppy, pay. we gotta <laughs> back it up, yo, Poppy. We gotta yo, go. Poppy, yo, we gonna pay this shit, and then we gonna figure it out later. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We gonna get some Corona spray. Yeah, yeah, we gotta yeah. figure it out. <laughs> I said, "Yo, nigga, pay that shit." <laughs> nigga said, "Nah, everybody gotta go." Yeah, yeah, that nigga Damn. ain't give a fuck about his credit or none. These niggas didn't care about their credit. <laughs> 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 nigga just said, "Fuck this." <laughs> We taking this eviction, eviction Whoa, on the chin. What you talking about, man? I'm sacrificing myself too, nigga. Damn. <laughs> so yeah, how those. many? How many of y'all name was on the lease? Nah, luckily my shit wasn't on. My name wasn't on the lease, bro. It was up niggas, so bro. It was, Damn. Man, it was like three of them niggas, man. It was a lot of niggas in the house. It was a two bedroom. Oh, like six, seven of us in that motherfucker, like. <laughs> bro, nah, but they, yeah, niggas was in the churches. I had my little studio. I ain't have no job. I'm trying to get niggas to buy studio time. So some days, and then like, but I will say like the dude who had the food stamps, he feeding everybody with the food stamps. Mm. I ain't gonna eat hoes. We like shit. We it like, hey, good. the stamps come in, dog. Like, <laughs> good. Fell, we sharing one motor car, bro. Niggas was down bad, bro. I ain't gonna eat hoes. You like? Nigga said we sharing one motor car. Man, we sharing one motor car, bro. Hey, bro, can I use the motor car? You feel what I'm saying? Cause I ain't gonna hoes. You like back then. I ain't gonna say I ain't had the hustle, bro, but I ain't really take life that seriously. Like, I was like, all right, the money will just come. Like, I wasn't even trying to really work for that shit for real, for real. I'm gonna be real. Like, the only difference now is I'm working. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't trying to work for that shit. I was trying to get that shit the easy way. I was like, shit, man, nigga just dropped $200 today. You know what I'm saying? Fucking, <laughs> 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 I'm good. Like, <laughs> nah, yeah, for real. Man, I was like, hell yeah. I have come. So look, um, tell us a little bit more about the music, man, and we gonna wrap it up, man. Um, how long you been doing music? Man, I've been doing music since I was 11. I recorded my first song when I was 11 years old. So, okay. um, because when I was staying in Jersey City, there was a high school, they had a studio in it. So they allowed students to go and rent out studio time. And um, I did, a, I did a, um, a talent show, and these guys was like, yo, we gonna put you in the studio. They made me the beat and everything, and they put me in my first studio. And then from there, um, I just kept going. I kept writing, you know. Um, at that time period, I sucked though, but I just kept going, like, <laughs> you suck. feel me? Like, I had my little $20. Honest, bro. Yeah, I suck, man. I had my little $20 MP3 player. Most niggas, they just started yesterday. They like, bro, I'm the hardest rapper nah, out, bro. Nah. <laughs> like, damn, bro, bro, I couldn't stay started. on, bro. When I re started recording for real, bro, that shit was so different. I was like, bro, I couldn't stay on beat for shit. Like, I ain't even want to hear my voice. Like, you know, now I got to hear my voice. But back then, I was like, but turn that shit off. Like, I used to change how my voice sounded just so I hated my voice. Like, damn. So, you know, it went through the process, but then I just kept buying equipment. Then I started engineering myself. Then I started going to different mm, studios during internship. too. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then now I got them, I'm, I'm where I'm at now. But yeah, so I've been doing music for like 18 years now, for real, for real. So okay. that's what's up. Yeah, hell yeah. So look, man, we're going to do a spin move real quick, man. You got a celebrity crush? Megan Good. Oh, yeah, he ain't yeah, hesitate. Good, yeah. This nigga ain't hesitate. Yeah, you I just ain't. jumped out that window. Yeah, making good. Hell yeah, yeah. Right, Damn. Yeah. She look like she got that good too, you feel me? Nah, you yeah, picked the good one, Yeah, bro. I had a crush on her for a little minute though. I ain't gonna hold you. Hey, yeah, yeah. Man, you picked a good one, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? If Megan Good was in the room right now, yeah. and you had a chance to shoot your shot at Megan Good, yeah, man, yeah. what you would say to her? Talk to the camera real quick. Maybe man, she might first, say something back. Man, first thing I'm gonna say is, Listen, man, I've been a fan all my life. <laughs> if I can't get the number, let me get the Instagram. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna be so corny, bro. She gonna be like, all right, you know what? I might get your ass a number. Hey, yeah, yeah, you feel me? But shit. <laughs> nigga said, Fair if me. I can't get the number, let me get the Instagram. You already know, man. Niggas be on that, bro. Let me tell you, nowadays, niggas rather get the Instagram than the number. You don't even remember what they who they look like or none of that shit. Facts. I could call you on the IG, man. Shit, man. I'm like, hey, <laughs> FaceTime, nigga. Nah, for real. For nigga real. say you get a chick number. You don't even remember what she looked like. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how many numbers y'all be saving for real. Y'all nah, get man, niggas don't, bro, man. They don't go past two weeks to talking, bro. You ain't even saving that shit. It facts. Yeah, for real. Nah, for real, man. So look, man, we're gonna wrap it up, man. Tell the people where they can find you at, where they can find your music, all that good stuff, man. All right, y'all already know you can find my music. Just go to Google and type in Hitman DA hit maker you know what i'm saying hit man the hit maker like literally when you type my name in everything pop up youtube all that i've been doing this for so long like i got my own page now you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> like you know what i'm saying on um, on instagram hitman underscore da underscore hit maker be on the lookout for bnb you know what i'm saying we got a lot of artists coming out too man this is a this is a label it's gonna be bigger Bigger than any label y'all seen in a long time coming out of Atlanta. We talking the next QC. And we got YM, GMJ boy, he got music coming out real soon. Black <clears throat> Baby Swan got music coming out soon. Flex come, got music coming out soon. You know what I mean? Shit, Swiper, I, if I kept going with the names, it would take too long. Just know we got a lot of music coming out, a lot of a lot of videos, everything. You feel me? All right, for sure, man. We appreciate you coming to the Switch Up, man. Presented by Playhouse Studios, man. And we are out of here, man. All right, precise. All right.